welcome to this tutorial series going straight to the point right now we're going to open up or begin a project so i'll come here and click on this new icon and then it gives me this template to pick from one we have part we have assembly and we have drawing the part signifies a single component probably you're trying to design the boat and not the boat itself is a part the knot itself is a part so by the time you are combining the both of them together and bringing them into an assembly that is when we use this template now after putting them together as an assembly the next is to create them in a drawing format or drafted format where we have the dimensions and all the standards that we have to put so then is when we use the drawing template and let us know that SOLIDWORKS is not limited to simple components like both or not because you can even create a component as big as an automobile engine so you create all the parts individually here and then we come over to assembly to put them all together and then we can create the drawings for every one of them so now that we've understood what these three templates use or what they are used for Right now, we are going to begin with creating a single part. I just go on and click OK. And then here we see the interface for the part creation. Now, for this part creation, we still have these tools File, Edit, View, Help. But included here now is the Insert, the Tools, the Window. The window is also going to be it's also going to have the same function as when we use the view but in this time this time around if you notice that our viewport here is just a single view and that's because this is this so if i click on two view horizontal and look at the icon the way it's been demonstrated there that's exactly what's going to happen to the screen so we have the top and we have the front so if i go back to the window viewport and change to two view vertical then we can see this you would need this depending on what probably you want to see two ends of the of the solid at the same time but then i will stick to single view for this tutorial class okay so we have the tools um some of these tools are here because there is not enough space to place them all in this ribbon here so what we do is when there are particular tools that we need and cannot find there so you can always just come here to scroll through and check them out so you have sketch entities sketch tools sketch settings blocks plan tools dimensions relations which are possible best to go through every one of these tools one after the other and see how that goes also insert for features which you can see here, extrude revolve base swept bus base lofted bus base boundary bus base also the same things that we see here extrude revolve sweep load boundary ticking so the tools that we have here in case you don't want to use these tools here so you can always come up to insert or tools where you have a sketch entities your sketch tools the insets and then make use of them all right so and then we have the view okay we've explained the view already so we'll go straight to have our feature manager tree the feature manager tree is like a history segment of your work where you are able to see everything that you do according to the order that you did them so every change you make or every uh, every design decision that you make on the workspace here you find them here piling up for you so in case i make an extrusion and i want to go to a quick edit i don't have to delete everything i've done i just come back here okay i made it to be 10 millimeters thick so from here i can just reduce it to 12 or oh, sorry that's increased i can reduce it to probably 5 8 7 and increase it also and then also we have the property manager where we can select properties for the components that we choose or the co components that we create and also we have here configuration manager the configuration manager is used to make or to design components that have repeat, rep repetitive patterns 
like a boot an hexagonal head boot is still an hexagonal head boot irrespective of the dimensions so using the configurations you just create a single hexagonal head boot and then create all the other configurations m8 m10 m12 m16 and the rest all right so we also have dim expert and then display manager the appearance that we already showed here the thing about solid works is they give you the same tools at different locations so that they are easy for you to access all right and if you look here now we have also the zoom to fit that means if you've created a very large drawing or you've zoomed in really 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 much you can click zoom to fit or type f and it shrinks everything back into the workspace it doesn't shrink the model itself but it removes every zoom application that you've done all right so we also have zoom to area the zoom to area is just going to zoom a particular area that is covered within the window that you create like if i select this I, right i click left click and then i zoom right now it's not going to see any zoom because the whole workspace is blank but then that window is actually zoomed in into okay so zoom to fit now we just take it zoom all out that's simply what it is it zooms all out so you can see all visible items from your workspace i press escape and do this all right and then we have previous view previous view is simply like a ctrl z for views so if i've zoomed in i've zoomed in again if i come to previous view it goes back to the previous zooming in that i just left off many of these tools might not make too much sense right now but i would like you to just bear with me so when we begin to use the tools themselves like to create solids and we see them in action then we understand what we're dealing with also we also have section view to create sections dynamic annotation views view orientation display style hide all types edit appearance apply scene okay and then we all know that before you can create any material and in the machine yard or the fabrication yard we ought we have to have sketches we have to have drawings apart from if you are using an additive manufacturing method but we have to have drawings that the fabricators will use to take their measurements and then create their solids or to cut out solid parts from um bigger chunk of metal okay so um we use the sketch tools to be able to do all of that and then we also have surfaces surfaces are used for shapes that are not so straightforward like complex shapes like the shape of your pad the the aluminium shape of your of your lamborghini um let me say the what else can i think of right now just irregular shapes we use surface tools for those shapes okay we also use evaluate for quick measurement um design study mass properties and the rest all right dim expert solid works adding so this is basically just the introduction and i'd like you to stick with us for from the next class we we'll begin to indeed make drawings come to life